And Alan's going to bring us our first reading now from 2 Corinthians. The reading is taken from 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 1 to 10. Paul's vision and his thorn. I must go on boasting. Although there is nothing to be gained, I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, 14 years ago, was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows, was caught up to paradise. He heard inexpressible things, things that man is not permitted to tell. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself except about my weaknesses. Even if I should choose to boast, I would not be a fool because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain so no one will think more of me than is warranted by what I do or say. To keep me from becoming conceited because of these suppressingly great revelations, there was given to me a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This is the word of the Lord. And Vera is going to bring us our Gospel reading from John. Gospel reading is taken from John chapter 15, beginning at verse 18. The world hates the disciples. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it will love you as its own, as it is you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the words I spoke to you. No servant is greatest than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent you. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. Now, however, they have no excuse for their sin. This is the word of the Lord. And now our third hymn, This I Believe. 